when it comes to real-time animation, iClone is an essential tool for making your characters move. Everyone from motion graphic hobbyists and film students to game and animation studios have used iClone as a quick and powerful character body animation tool in their production pipelines. The update to 3D Exchange 5.4 takes it to the next level by opening up the facial animation capabilities as well. Our vision is to make iClone the universal choice for real-time body and facial animation. Okay, let's start from the basics. Suppose that you want to animate the face of your own custom character in iClone. Simply bring it into 3D Exchange and define the values for the head and eye rotation as well as jaw movement. After that, apply your character to iClone and test it out in real time. The new update also enables automatic blinking for any of your custom characters as well. Not to mention four different types of blinking profiles to choose from. Once you have your initial settings taken care of, you can test out some partial or full facial expressions to match your character's personality. In this update, we also support more face facial animation data created in external 3D tools. Import in blend shapes to create natural facial expressions and transitions, and adjust the values with slider control right in 3D Exchange. You can also create professional grade facial animations by importing characters with both facial bones and blend shapes and utilizing the two techniques together. While the facial bones maintain the main structure of the face, the blend shapes provide subtle details and personality to your facial animation. By defining the vice me mouth shapes for your character, you can also take advantage of the fast and powerful lip sync feature in iClone. Come on! I dare you! Give me your best falcon punch. Ha! So what? You can't touch If you want to me. go into more detail, you can further fine tune them after you perform the lip sync in iCloud. Ha! So what? You can't touch me. Cause I'm from the internet. In iCloud, we use an abstract face muscle layer to blend subtle expressions together smoothly. This makes it possible for all types of facial rig designs to utilize iCloud's facial puppet control and talking scripts. Hey. After defining your facial muscle profiles, you'll be able to take advantage of both the facial puppet panel as well as the keyframe-based face key editor to create vivid facial animation performances in iClone. For popular character types such as Daz Genesis, 3D Exchange provides automatic character import with a single click, allowing your Genesis characters to enjoy the full spectrum of iClone's powerful real-time facial animation tools in no time. If you want to further adjust your Daz character's expression, you can go back and adjust the various values in your DUF file to give a more powerful and defined facial shape. We also provide two new G5 talking heads in this new update, complete with better lip sync and the added feature of tongue movement to, to give you a more lively talking oh, animation result. Wonderful to see you again. We've missed you so much. If you want, you can further customize the real-time facial performances of any iClone character in 3D Exchange by creating a set of your own custom expressions that can be exported and used as your own custom facial puppet template in iClone. In this latest update, you can also create quick cool morph animations with props. Simply import the various blend shapes via FBX or OBJ format into 3D Exchange, then define the puppet controls via a custom profile. After that, you'll be able to use that profile in the Puppet panel to morph your object in real time. Previously, you couldn't do much with extended bones on your characters such as ears and tails. With 5.4, extended bones under the body and head nodes can be edited with IK animation tools or given custom spring effects to give them natural spring-like movement properties within iClone. Be creative and assign spring effects to everything from tails to ears in order to give them natural spring-like animation. The mass setting allows you to adjust the spring effect to fit your needs. In iClone 5.4, you can assign any bone hierarchy into a group, which will show up as a unique track in your timeline. With access to multiple spring tracks in the timeline, you now have enhanced control over switching them from keyframe animation to natural spring mode. You can also apply a spring effect to props and switch the spring effect on and off to achieve natural movement.
With the new prop animation layer track in the timeline, you can now apply keyframe animation to the bone structure of your props. Use the IK system to give you total control over the small details of how your prop moves. Another new feature in the timeline is the motion modifier, which allows you to use the same slider control options as the motion puppet tool to add subtle modifications to your motion clip after it's already been recorded. You can use this feature to do everything from fixed posture issues to alter your motion for a slightly different look. With version 5.4, iClone is stepping into a new era of facial animation. Now users have the freedom to bring any type of character from any 3D software out there and enjoy the powerful and versatile facial animation features and extended bone editing available in iClone to quickly produce stunning animation. Follow me! Quick! This is pretty good! <laughs>